Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Uh, this is a B1 level uh, mathematics course, Mathematics for ESL Learners. And today we're going to be talking about shapes. So can you name the shapes that you see? So just take a moment and look at these shapes, see if you can, if you know the names of all of them. And then restart when you're ready to hear the answers. So here we have square, circle, rectangle, triangle, triangle, oval, pentagon, diamond, hexagon. All right, now we have some more advanced shapes. So all quadrilaterals have four sides, four angles, and four vertices. And there are many different types of quadrilaterals. So here we have the square, the rectangle, the parallelogram, the rhombus, and the trapezoid. So these are all quadrilaterals because they have four sides. And what's the meaning of the lines and the arrows in each image? Well, here we're showing the angles, the sides that are equal, um, again, more angles, whether the sides are parallel or not. So those are all the things that you can tell from the markings in the image. So now take a moment and see which of these images fit in each of the descriptions. And many of, this, many of the descriptions will match more than one. So for example, two pairs of parallel sides, um, square, rectangle, parallelogram, and rhombus all have two pairs of parallel sides. The trapezoid does not because this side and this side are not parallel. So go ahead and try the rest of those and then restart the video when you're ready to see the answers. All right, so only one pair of parallel sides, that's the trapezoid, as we said before, these two sides are not parallel. Equal opposite sides, so we have the square and the rectangle, the parallelogram, and the rhombus. Opposite sides of equal length, again, square, rectangle, parallelogram, and rhombus, but not the trapezoid. Okay, for equal sides, we have the square and the rhombus. The rectangle and the parallelogram, they don't, do not have four equal sides. For right angles, so that would be the square and the rectangle. and all sides not equal, that's the trapezoid. Opposite equal acute angles, so that's the rhombus and the parallelogram. So here are the acute angles. And opposite equal obtuse angles, again, the rhombus and the parallelogram. All right, next we're going to talk about prefixes and suffixes. So prefixes and suffixes are belong to a group called affixes. So affixes are letters or groups of letters that are added to words to change their meaning. And a prefix is a letter or group of letters that is added to the beginning of a word. A suffix is a letter or group of letters that is added to the end of a word. And prefixes and suffixes are used in math to describe polygons, a shape with at least three straight sides and angles. And so the prefix poly means any, so it means it has, or many means many sides, and gon means sides. So polygon means many sides. So see if you can match each prefix with its meaning. Again, you can pause the video and try that on your own and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. All 
All right, so here are the answers. Oct means eight, as in octagon. Hex means six, as in hexagon. Pent is five, as in a pentagon. Nana means nine. Deca is ten. And hept is seven. Right, and now the, here are some additional prefixes. Can you match these other prefixes with their meanings? And can you think of words that begin with each of these prefixes? And they give us an example here. So una means one, and unicorn is this animal that has only one horn. So again, try these on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so una is one, by is two, tri is three, quadra is four, circum matches with letter E, around, div is with letter A, separate, equa is letter B, equal, inter, is letter H between, there is letter F, turn, and D is letter D, down. And some of the um, words that might go with these prefixes, unicorn, unicycle, universe, bicycle, bilateral, biweekly, triangle, tricycle, triceratops, quadrilateral, quadrant, circumference, circumnavigate, division, divide, equilateral, equidistant, equivalent, intercept, international, vertex, vertices, decrease, and decline. So those are just some of the examples of words that would use each of those prefixes. All right, so now complete the sentences with the prefixes below. So you'll fill in the gaps with one of the prefixes from the boxes and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so a unicorn is a mythical animal that looks like a horse with a horn coming from its head. Before learning to ride a bicycle, children usually ride a tricycle or a bicycle, oops, misspelled that there, or a bicycle with three wheels. We have bi weekly meetings. It works better than meeting every week. We live equidistant from the city center, just on opposite sides of the city. The temperature usually decreases by about 10 degrees at night. The man circumnavigated the world by boat. It took him 100 days. She divided the paper into two equal parts, a quad, oops, quadrilateral is a shape with four sides, the vertex is the point that connects two lines, and the two lines intersect at point B. All right, so what are some words that you know that relate to measurement? So what can you measure? So here we have measuring temperature, height, maybe weight. And what tools do you use? Well, to measure temperature, we would use um, a thermometer 
to measure uh, length or width, you would use a ruler. Um, also to measure height, to measure weight, we would use a scale. So those were the tools. So what measurement do you use? Well, temperature is measured in degrees, either degrees Celsius or degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, length and width can be measured in inches or fractions of inches. Height is measured in either inches or meters, or feet and inches and meters, or meters. Uh, weight can be pounds or grams. And what is the measurement of the in space inside a shape? Well, that would be like how much something holds. So that would be volume. And what is the measurement for how tall something is? That's height. And what is the measurement for how wide something is? It's called width. All right, the US is one of the few countries globally which still uses the imperial system of measurement. And so put the units into the correct place in the chart. So um, again, you can um, try this on your own and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. So how long is it? Um, the measurement is long or length. The metric unit is a meter and the imperial unit would be a foot or an inch. How long is it? Uh, that would be a short length. Um, again, centimeters. foot or an inch. Also here meters, um, sorry, this should be, actually let me go back here, made a mistake there. So how, a meter would be similar to a mile or a yard uh, in the imperial system. Uh, a short length would be a foot or an inch. How much does it weigh, mass or weight? In the metric it's a gram, uh, but in the imperial um, section would be either um, an ounce or a pound. How much is there a liquid volume? Uh, we could have a pint, gallon, or quart. And how much is the dry volume? Um, that could also be an ounce or a pound. So which units would you use to measure the distance between two cities? Well, probably either meters or kilometers or miles. Uh, an amount of milk. Milk comes in uh, gallons, pints, quarts. The amount of milk, uh, again, a pint or a quart. The weight of a person, probably a pound. The height of a person, feet and inches. And the amount of hair that you want the hair cutter to cut, probably inches or even centimeters or fractions of inches. All right, now you're going to complete each sentence with a unit of measurement from below. You can pause the video and try that on your own and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Yes, car speed is measured using miles per hour. The largest container for milk at the supermarket is a gallon. A thermometer measures the temperature in degrees. A person's height is measured in feet and inches. A person's weight is measured using pounds. There are 60 seconds in a minute. There are 24 hours in a day. There are 52 weeks in a year. And there are 16 ounces in a pound. All right, so let's see if you can guess the abbreviation for these common units of measurement. 
So again, uh, you can pause the video, try this on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. All right, so cup is, the abbreviation is C, degrees Fahrenheit, it's capital F, foot, FT, hour, H, R, kilometer is KM, pound is LB, meter would be M, mile uh, would be, let's see, these don't look correct. Mile, I believe, is MI. Uh, inch would be IN. Ounce is OZ. Centimeter, CM. Pint, PT. Quart, QT. Kilogram, KG. And gram would be G. Right, so what do you know about circles? Can you label the parts of the circle? So go ahead and try that on your own and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. So radius, number one, that would be letter C. So from the center point to any point, that's the radius. Diameter would be B. It's all the way across. Circumference is A, the distance around. And pi is the circumference divided by the diameter. And how we read the formulas below, diameter equals 2R or 2 times the radius. Circumference is 2 pi R. And the area is pi R squared. Okay, so what is the area of a shape and what is the perimeter? Well, the area is what is contained within, within the borders of the shape. So the area that would be um, for these two dimensional shapes or one dimensional shapes. And then the perimeter is the distance around the outside. Okay, so match the area formula with the shape and then um, read the formula aloud. So you can try that on your own and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. All right, so length times width, you can use that formula to find the area of either a square or a rectangle. Pi r squared h, that is the um, area or volume of a cylinder. Length times width times height. That's the area of a rectangular prism. One half B, H, B times H, or one half base times height is the area of a triangle. And pi r squared is the area of a circle. All right, so what is a triangle? Triangles have three sides, three angles, and three vertices. And here we have different tri types of triangles. An isosceles triangle, a scalene triangle, an equilateral triangle, an acute triangle, a right triangle, and an obtuse triangle. So now you're going to try to match each um, triangle with its definition. Again, you can pause the video, try that on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. Okay, so an isosceles triangle is letter F. It has three equal, or sorry, letter E. Oops, let's get there. So an isosceles triangle is letter E. It has two equal angles and two equal sides. So here's the equal sides 
and the angles. A scalene triangle is letter C, no equal angles and no equal sides. An equilateral is letter F, three equal angles, so 60, 60, 60, and three equal sides. An acute angle has three acute angles. A right triangle has one right angle. And an obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle. All right, um, I think I'm going to skip this uh, describing the shapes. Um, so next we're going to go to the next slide. So the Pythagorean theorem the Pythagorean theorem can find the length of a triangle side, and the formula is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So a and b are called the legs of the triangle, and c is the hypotenuse of the triangle. So it says read the problem and then put the steps to solve the problem in the correct order. A man is building a treehouse. The bottom of the treehouse is 8 feet from the ground. He has a ladder that is 10 feet long. How far from the treehouse should he place the bottom of the ladder? So again, you can pause the video, try that on your own, and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. All right, so number one is to write down the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared and draw the triangle. Then you're going to label the sides of the triangle that you know. And then you're going to substitute the known values. So a would be 8 and c would be 10. And then number four, you would square the known values to get 64 plus b squared equals 100. Then you subtract 64 from 100 and get 36. Then you would take the square root of both sides of the equation to get b equals six. You'll write down your answer and then you'll check your work. All right, explain the steps that you can take to solve this problem. So Shiva knows that it is a three mile drive north from her house to the airport. She also knows that it is a four mile drive east from her house to the shopping center. So how far is it from the shopping mall to the airport? So again, you can uh, pause the video, use these words to um, fill in the gaps, and then restart when you're ready to check the answers. Okay, so first we would uh, say draw the triangle and write the equation a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Then plug in the values that you know. So square the values to get 9 plus 16 equals c squared. Add 9 plus 16 to get 25. Take the square root of 25, so c equals 5. Then check your work. Okay, these are two more problems, and you can practice um, explaining the steps that you can take to solve these problems. Again, you can pause the video and do that, and then restart when you're ready to check your answers. 
All right, so number one, Elise is near the entrance of the park. She needs to get to the other side of the park to see a concert, but there is a lake in the middle of the park. She can walk 400 feet west and 300 feet south, or she can rent a rowboat and row across the lake. How many feet would she need to row to get across the lake to the concert? All right, so you're going to draw the triangle. So that's what they did here. and write the equation a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Plug in the values that you know to get 300 squared plus 400 squared equals c squared. If you square the values, you'll get 9,000 plus 16,000 equals c squared. Add 9,000 and 16,000 to get 25,000. Take the square root of 25,000, so c equals 500 and then you can check your work. Number two, a football field is 64 meters wide and 100 meters long. A player runs from one corner of the field in a diagonal line to the opposite corner. How far did the player run? So again, you're going to draw the triangle and write the equation. a squared plus b squared equals c squared and then plug in the known values. So 64 squared plus 100 squared equals c squared. Then square the values. 64 squared is 4,096 and 100 squared is 10,000. Add 4,096 and 10,000 to get 14,096. And then take the square root of 14,096 to get 118.73. So C equals 118.73. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Please like, subscribe, share, and if you have any questions, leave those for me in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.